Alright, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to summon monsters with custom drops into your server. So what you're going to want to do is go to your source and you're going to want to open up these three files. npcdrops.tsm, npc.config, and spawnconfig.config. These three files. So next what you want to do is going to go down and I'm going to just create a new line. And I'm just going to name it custom npcs with two forward slashes. Just makes it the uh, file look good. You don't really have to add that, but uh, I'm going to type in spawn, oh, spawn, enter, and then 751. This is the NPC ID. Now I'm going to press the tab button, and this is where the uh, the NPC will be spawned at. So what I'm going to do is go back, go to my data, my characters, I'm going to find out my coordinates. So right here is my coordinates. So I'm going to paste that, hit tab again, paste that, and hit tab again. Oh and then hit tab again. So now this is the height of where you want your monster to spawn. <coughs> I'm going to spawn on zero because it's going to be in the main world. And then does it walk? Yes. It's max hit. You don't really want to mess with this or this or this. So now you're going to do the description which will be barbarian spirit. You can change this to whatever you want but this is the barbarian spirit uh, NPC code. Now what I'm going to do is save that. Now I'm going to go to npc.config and I'm going to search up 751, which is the, it says it's a zombie, but it really is a barbari, barb Aryan spirit. Here, let me, spirit, just like that. So now this is the uh, combat level. You don't really need to worry about that. And this is the health. So the health of the mob. So I'm going to do 10 health. Why not? Just make it simple. And then I'm going to save that. Now this is the NPC drops. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the down arrow and then I'm going to name this hashtag barbarian spirit and then I'm going to add the uh, the NPC ID which is that and the spawn rate. Now this is where you have to pay attention. This is going to be the uh, drop rate. So this would be 1 in 30, right? This would be, you get a drop every 30 kills and such like that. So if I want to make it really rare, I would do 1,000, right? But I'm going to do it every 30. Now this one, the first line, this is applies, you get it every single drop. So every single drop, let's say I wanted to drop coins. So I'd dr make a drop 1,000 coins. So the coin ID is 955. Or, no, it's not 955, it's 995. So it will drop a thousand coins every time, correct? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, tab, and I want it to drop a whip, for instance. And I'll make it drop one whip, or make it drop a AGS. I'll make it drop that. And let's say we want it to drop bones. So let's go in here and let's do a bone. So five, two, six, and one. <coughs> just like that and now this is where things get even more interesting this is the line that you will get the items like every time it won't give you every one of these items it'll give you one of these items randomly every time you kill this NPC so if you go to the next line this is the rare items so what I'm gonna do is 995 I'm gonna do colon and one two three four five six seven so it will drop one mil every 30 kills which is pretty interesting and we can also add something else like let's say we wanted to add blue charm you get as a rare job so we'll do one two one six three is that the item like yep and we'll make a drop ten of those and that's pretty much it for the barbarian spirit so now we'll save that we'll save that and that and it should be all done so let's go out of the source and let's compile I'm, I'm not sure if you need to compile but I think you do, so I'm just going to compile anywhere, anyways to be safe. And I'm going to run the server up. So, let's log in here. We should see a b barbarian spirit running around. It's uh, empty out our command. As you can see, a barbarian spirit. It should have 10 health. Yes, 10 health. And what does it drop? This time it dropped coins. So let's just spawn a few more of these. And let's kill them. See what they drop. I'm gonna spec this guy out. Mm. Oh fuck. I'm not doing that much damage to be honest. 
It's item 41511. Let's get a whip out. Can I kill this guy? Jesus. His combat level is so high, so it's going to be pretty hard to kill, but we're going to kill him and see if he drops something other than coins, which he should. And as you can see, I configed him over here to drop coins. 1,000 coins, and that's what he's dropped. So let's try again. See if we can get another random drop, which this time he dropped bones, which is right there. And as you can see, we will not get the 1 mil coins, and we will not get the charms, because that is a very, very rare drop. So let's just try and kill another one, see if we can get something else here. Die, you bastard. And as you can see, they are roaming around. Their combat level is the same, and they do have the same hit points, as which I configured right here. He has 10 hit points. So, boom. He has died. What will he drop this time? An Armadale Godsword and Green Charms. Which, the Charms is something that I think they always drop, because it's just config like that in my config. But yeah, this is how you add random drops to random monsters. Let's see what this guy drops. Let's just spec him out. Oh, he dropped a whip that time. Nice. So there you go. It's pretty much a basic tutorial on how to add monsters and drops to their loot tables. Pretty simple and pretty cool. So let me just go over this one more time in case you didn't get it. So this, it will drop one of these items every time it's killed, but only one of these items. And if I added a new line, it will drop one of these items every 1 in 30 chance. So it has a 1 in 30 chance of getting these items right here, which is pretty cool. And that is how you config that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, see you later.